Welcome to this video of the Morpheus Multi-Cloud Orchestration and Automation Platform. Today, I'm going to focus on how to integrate and optimize your environment. By going into infrastructure and then clouds, here I can see a list of clouds that are currently connected and managed by my Morpheus environment. It's a healthy list as you can see. It's really easy to connect clouds. By editing the VMware cloud, we see the information that we need to provide to connect the VMware cloud environment. Provide the connection details and scroll down a little. Here, I'd like to point out the inventory existing instances checkbox. By selecting this, once we connect to this cloud, we will discover all the existing resources and we can later onboard any brownfield resources if we choose to. Scroll down to the advanced section. Guidance can be set to manual or off. Make sure it's set to manual. This will make sure that Morpheus will provide right sizing guidance, for example, things on undersized or oversized workloads. The only other quick point I'd like to make here is that we can connect to integrated backup solutions, replication solutions, IP address management solutions, configuration management solutions, as well as IT service management solutions. This is really incredibly powerful, especially during the provisioning process and or during any day to later ongoing management. Let's exit the screen and go into the cloud itself. Now we're looking at a summary view of the VMware Demo Cluster Cloud. It's costing me this month approximately $635 and the monthly average is higher. I can see the maximum CPU, memory, and storage utilization, and all the resource types in the cloud. Let's select VMs. We can see a list of discovered VMs here. Discovered VMs are currently visible because I earlier checked that checkbox, excuse me, that was called inventory existing instances. I can select the discovered VM and bring it under management by Morpheus by selecting convert to managed. Now, as we move down this list, we can see here that we also have Morpheus managed workloads. This falls within the Morpheus governance and policies that apply to it, including things like day two actions. And it, we can also do things like other type of actions against that workload because it is a managed resource. Moving into reports, we see that there are different report categories and subcategories. Let's take a peek at a couple of the reports. First, cloud inventory summary. I can choose to run a report against a group. I've just recently run one against all the groups. I can see the inventory summary for all the clouds. All data can be exported here as well. Let's see the cloud usage report. Here I have the ability to come and run any report that I choose, but I've just recently run the all cloud report. So let's jump into that. We're presented with all cloud statistics, utilization, and then it's broken down further by individual cloud. So there's a ton of great data that can be generated by these reports. And yes, again, you can export this information as JSON or CSV files. Jumping into analytics and selecting cloud costing, again, I can see a total cost uh, per month to date and the projected cost for this month. You can drill into an individual cloud here as well. Let's check on the utilization versus cost. This provides a great way to find those anomaly workloads that are costing you too much money but with low utilization. Here are a few examples. Here's a VM which has high utilization and a high cost, so that's reasonable given its utilization. But looking at these other workloads, you can see here that these have lower utilization, but still a relatively high cost. So these are problematic, right? Now looking at this one, this is the most problem problematic because it has a very low utilization and a very high cost. So this is a good candidate for right sizing. Now this is a good segue into guidance. Because guidance was turned on in our cloud accounts, Morpheus will come back and provide right sizing guidance recommendations that we can immediately take action on. At the bottom here, we see a workload in AWS 
and the guidance is to power this workload off. Let's look at the detailed guidance. You see here the recommendation to shut down the resource and the associated cost savings, but most importantly, the ability to act on it immediately. Here's a resource with the recommendation to increase resources. Again, the details show that it, is currently, it currently has very high memory utilization and the recommendation is to increase the memory from 8 gigabytes to 16 gigabytes. And as a result, the memory utilization would drop from 95 to 47%. Very cool. Lastly, let's take a look at the workload that I know I can actually make changes to. The guidance here is to decrease its memory from 1 gigabyte to 512 megabytes. I'm actually going to take action immediately and resize this workload. That workload is now being reconfigured in the background. To summarize, we showed how to integrate a cloud, how to onboard brownfield resources, we showed reporting and looked at a couple of reports, we looked at a couple of analytics and focused on cost and utilization analytics, and lastly, we concluded by showing the type of right-sizing guidance that Morpheus can provide. Get started with Morpheus today. Please visit morpheusdata.com. Have a wonderful day.